Hello everyone, let's try to solve this question together. So we have a two week old male infant who presented with projectile vomiting and history of blood in the stool. The infant is receiving term formula and breast milk. Serial ultrasound of pylorus and abdomen were done, followed by solo and upper GI study. Based on the findings, what do you guys think is, the, uh, is a good action there? So this is the bigger picture and let me just walk you through. So basically this is the ultrasound, first ultrasound. And here we can see the thickness here and thickness is reported as 3.9 and this is the channel length and channel length is reported as 12. While repeating it, you know, uh, pre-feed, as you guys can see here, pre-feed. So this is the thickness and this is the channel length. Same thing here, thickness and channel length. So as you guys can see that post-feed, the thickness of the pyloric muscle is reduced so that is very reassuring. The other reassuring thing is the uh, upper GI. You guys can see that the dye goes there, it goes to the stomach and it passes beyond and it goes to the, uh, to the diadenum. And these are the normal values. So pause the slide, take a look at it. So this is another explanation, what is length and what is thickness. And again, same thing here. And then same thing here. So what is the right answer here? The right choice is change to hydrolyzed formula. This patient uh, was found to have uh, no protein allergy, and uh, this is the reference. So the um, the final diagnosis made was pylor pyloric spasm, and this is the case report. Um, as you guys can, this is uh, freely available online. So I, anyway, to reiterate the case, whenever you have a suspicion of uh, pyloric stenosis, um, always remember two numbers: uh, the muscle thickness and channel length. Muscle, muscle thickness has to be less than three millimeter and the pyloric, uh, the channel length has to be less than 15 millimeters. So three and 15, just remember like that. And uh, then again, uh, this case also points out to that, you know, the, the uh, even ultrasound, which is the gold standard, uh, could have some uh, false positive results. So it's always good to get an upper GI uh, because if the dye goes beyond uh, the pylorus into the duodenum, you basically rule it out as seen in the case. Uh, I hope we all have learned something together today. You guys have a wonderful day. Bye.